Well, I was fortunate enough to grow up in the uh, 60s and 70s, and so I was a part of that great era of, of radio, uh, it, being in the New York market, WABC, WMCA, and I know this was a phenomenon all across the country. You know, the great jocks, the great jingles, uh, even some of the advertisements were fun, for, you know, the ones for pimple cream and, and, and items like that. You know, I got out of college and went to uh, went to work in electronics for a couple of years. Uh, got married, had kids, and so I, I kind of took a little hiatus. But then in the early 80s, I had an opportunity to uh, go to work for a radio station, uh, family stations, WFME, and we're actually located in West Orange, New Jersey, even though we uh, cover the, the New York market. As Alan Sniffen has said quite often on, you know, when he talks about this on a New York radio message board, you end up with a show where the where the, the, the sum is greater than the total of all the parts. And, you know, they're, they're just programs that you can't recreate. There's just no way that you could recreate. I mean, you... Uh, you the Z Morning Zoo was like that, you know. You, you had you had the drum riffs in the background, the cymbals, and when somebody made a or cracked a joke, uh, you had a bunch of people that could you know laugh together and and uh, and just take any anything, whether it be in the news, any uh, something that happened on TV, and just start talking about it. And it's so funny. Uh, my my gauge always is of, of a great radio program, and I. I've talked about this to a lot of people and they all agree. When you get when you're listening to a radio program and you get to work and you can't shut the car off. You can't you're to the point now where you know a, a younger person uh, or you know someone passes away and younger people look at real to real tapes and probably say, What are those? Or they don't have the equipment to uh, that that's another thing. We get contacted a lot from people who have real tapes tapes and they'll say, well, I don't have any way to, uh, to play them back. Then you have old reel-to-reel -reel tapes that uh, are in such bad condition, you know, they get sticky, uh, they, they squeal, and I've learned the art of what they call tape baking, where you can actually put a reel-to-reel a -reel tape in, a, in a, either a lab oven or a food processor and subject it to heat and you can get rid of that stickiness. Uh, as a kid, you know, there, there really wasn't a lot of different radio uh, back in the 60s. I mean, if you, if you grew up in New York and no doubt anywhere in the country, uh, you really, all you had was top 40. You know, nowadays everything is so uh, segmented that, you know, you, you, if you've got, you know, 15 different music stations on the air in a, in a given the market, you know, they've all got their own little niche. You know, classic rock, modern rock, uh, top 40, uh, I suppose there's still a semblance of top 40, but I don't know they've, that they even use the term anymore. You know, you're really just listening to, uh, you know, different formats of music, and even they've become, frag uh, you know, fragmented. I, I think the sad thing is, uh, you know, time marches on even with the radio business, and uh, you know, you're you're never going to see that type of programming return again. Everything's got to be edgy, and you know that everybody's aiming for very specific demos now. Whereas back, I'd say even. Even Scott Shannon's Z Morning Zoo in New York City, uh, to a high degree, that that appealed to to the whole family. You know, I, I think they were looking to uh, to get it, all the demos back back then. But that's gone today. I, I would bring back the Z100 jingles. You know, uh, you know, this is Z100. Crank it up and rip.
open up off, you know. The, <laughs> actually, they had the professional deep voice, the uh, voiceover guys doing these little imaging liners, but uh, I don't know. I just found that kind of radio. You'd almost wait to the top of the hour just to, right. just to hear these jingles, you know. And, uh, yeah, I, I would bring a lot of that back. I would bring a lot of that back.